Hello grade students, I hope you are doing great. I am teacher Jason Ovengado, your MAPET teacher for today. Handa na ba kayo? Tara, simulan nating ibutin ang mga bansa sa Southeast Asia. Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang iba't ibang eskultura ng Southeast Asia. Here is the objective. Show the relationship of the development of this culture in specific countries in Southeast Asia according to functionality, traditional specialized expertise, and availability of resources. Do you know what is in the picture? Yes, it is the sculpture of Dr. Rosa Rizal in the Philippines. By the way, what is sculpture? Sculpture, the art of making two or three dimensional representative or abstract forms, especially by the carving stone or wood or by the casting metal or plaster. In Cambodia, stone carving has been both a passion and a livelihood for many Cambodian sculptors. Here are the examples of Cambodia's art of stone carving. The next destination is Thailand. Thailand is world famous for its sculpture that dates back 4,000 years. The different materials to be used are wood, stone, ivory, clay, and metals. The Thai bronzes, the most notable sculpture in Thailand, it is famous for their originality and grace. Famous sculpture in Wat Phu in Bangkok is 46 meters long and 15 meters high. It is made of plaster on a brick core and finished in gold leaf. The feet are inlaid with mother of pearl. Our next destination is Laos. Lao artisans use a variety of media in sculpture creation. Bronze, silver, and gold. Our next destination is Indonesia. Indonesia is known for its stone, bronze, and iron age arts. The sculptures can be found in numerous archaeological sites in Sumatra, Java to Sulawesi. These are examples of Asmat wooden sculpture of Papua. The Borobudur relief panels. Tara, sabay-sabay natin puntahan ang bansang Malaysia. Relief sculpture are partially carved into or out of another surface. Done with stone, marble, bronze, and many other substances. The types of relief sculpture, number one, is alto form. The second type of relief sculpture is base form. The third one is sunken relief form. Malaysia is also known for wood carving. Kinds of Malaysian flowers and plants are the motif. There are two types of Malaysian wood carving. Yukiran halus or pine carving. Yukiran kasar or rough carving. Our next destination is Singapore. Sri Mariamam Hindu temple with a sculpture of different images is almost as old as Singapore itself. It was constructed and dedicated to the goddess Mariamam. 
The Merlion is also partly inspired by the story of how Singapore got its name, or the Singapora story. Sentosa Merlion is the biggest replica standing at 37 meters and made from the glass reinforced concrete. And for our last destination is Brunei. To help preserve this heritage and metalwork, the Brunei Arts and Handicraft Training Center was established in 1975 to revive and promote the nation's dying tradition of crops. Alam kong busog na busog kayo sa kalaman na binahagi ko ngayong araw. Tara! Ating sagutan ang maikling gawain sa araw na ito. The direction. Identify the relationship of the development of crops in specific countries in Southeast Asia according to the availability of resources and functions. Country, example, Cambodia, the available resources is use of stone carving. The function is a livelihood. Pass your output in the next retrieval of module. I hope with this video lesson, you are guided to answer your activity. Hanggang sa susunod, paalam!